I'm Mrs. Mangum, art teacher at EMC Elementary, and I'm here at the corner of Chestnut Street and Main Street in Satterton. We're going to walk down here to Exhibit B Gallery to meet artist Harry Boardman. He's a local artist in our community and he's up to some exciting things. Well, that was a short walk. We're here at Exhibit B Gallery, studio of Harry Boardman, local artist in Satterton. This is his studio space, but it's also a gallery for about 25 different artists in our region. Let's check it out. Harry, thanks so much for meeting with us. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I was born in Lower Bucks and in Holland, and I've grown up in the area. Um, taking art classes uh, from the time I was a kid uh, through high school and, and um, into college, of course. So uh, I spend a lot of time working and training with a woman in Churchville and her in her studio, and had a lot of different teachers over the years. And even in high school, ended up taking classes at the community college so that I could fit more artwork into my curriculum at the high school. Nice. Um, I went to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn to get my illustration degree and did a lot of other things while I was there and always appreciated all forms of art and knew I wanted to be in this business for as long as I can remember. And let's walk around in the loop here, we can see the gallery. So here we have work from about 25 different artists including my wife and myself and they range from all over the area but mostly I would call us a local and regional gallery. We really specialize in working with local, living, working artists who are really operating at the top of their game and offering great work, um, whether it be traditional art or fine craft or some out there innovative things. We try to get involved in a lot of different aspects of the art world. Um, and we're always looking for new ways to display things and show things and highlight things and move work around and keep the place fresh and interesting, both for our artists and also for our customers who enjoy coming in and seeing new things. Um, here we have um, a show we're about to start with Lynette Shelley, so she does these great animal, sort of folk mythology, folklore um, kind of pieces, and as we're getting ready for a show, this artwork on the floor and things everywhere is kind of a normal sight here, it's just part of the process. Really excited, the show opens in a couple of days. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then over here, we have more work for more artists and more displays and work coming and work going and that's kind of part of the game too is always one show's ending and one show's beginning and we get to go through that cycle with artists on a regular basis, which is really great and rewarding. All right, and then we get back here to the beginning and this door here, this is my studio where I work and hang out with Crusher the gallery dog, who's not here today. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the um, drafting table here, this is the original sketch for the mural in the underpass. And I've been going through paint chips from our uh, local Sherwin-Williams store, who's uh, sort of sponsoring this project and um, giving us a huge discount on the paint. And um, this is kind of how the process works. And I'm, you know, come up with this sketch and this idea and presented it to the, um, the Southerton Business Improvement District, which, um, which I'm on the board of, and um, was able to get funding for this project. And, and a lot of different people and entities have been involved getting to this point. And normally what I would do is come up with a concept, paint a sketch, come back here, pick colors, it's, uh, it's one thing to paint something on this scale, and it's a whole other thing to paint something that's 2,000 square feet, which is a massive space. So I'll go through, pick the colors that I want, knowing that I'll still be mixing colors and still be buying more paint and everything, but at least this way I can get started. And then once the paint store is done, we get to, we get to work. All right, so we're here at the mural. Harry, can you tell us a little bit about what steps happened so far and where this project is heading? Yeah, I can. So the, um, there was a mural on the walls here and um, the reason that you don't often paint in an underpass is because it's a kind of inhospitable place for paint, which means the concrete kind of absorbs moisture, there's chemicals from the road and from the train above, and it's dark and it just tends to 
not last that long. So any mural mm -hmm. painted here has a five to 10 year lifespan, which is sad to see the mural go early, but exciting because there's opportunity to see something new here on a pretty frequent basis. Yeah. So what's happened here is uh, a local company was hired to sandblast the, the paint off of the wall, mm -hmm. and then they put a primer on, a white primer, which is basically a, a base coat to mm -hmm. seal the concrete and make sure the new paint sticks to it. Then um, our borough, Southerton Borough, hired a painter to put this blue paint up and this yellow paint up as background colors for the images. Um, although these are two walls, I'm considering this mural one piece, and uh, mm -hmm. it's like a daytime, nighttime play, and I'm, I'm entitling it Soul Luna, although I don't know if anybody will ever use the title. Hmm. After the colors on the wall, although it's hard to see, there's about a six foot tall owl here from the floor up, and this is his face here. Also down at the other end is a moon marked, and then I'll be laying out where the clouds go so that we can paint them in. Nice. So it's all freehand drawing that you're doing on the wall. Yeah. It's I really cool. I have done murals where I convert my sketch into a transparency and project it onto the mm -hmm. wall. When I have the freedom to do whatever I want, I try to just do it freehand. It, keeps everything alive and fun. It keeps it from getting too caught in the, the pattern. For instance, my sketch is this big mm -hmm. and this mural is this big. Yeah. And it has these lines in between, these recess sections. And so once you get on site, it's nice to be able to uh, work with what's here and, and be flexible. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So how long do you expect the mural to take? Uh, that's a tricky question, but I would guess about three to four weeks. Awesome. Uh, not working all day every day. I still have to paint in my studio and run the gallery, but in between I'll be here off and on and probably about two to four weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me You're and welcome. sharing about your project. I look forward to seeing it completed. Me too. <laughs>